Okay, let's do some practice problems here, kind of getting familiar with decimals. I want you to keep in mind that everything that we do when we deal with, with decimals, you have to understand place value. So if you need to go back to that previous video and write down place value, uh, you know, those positions and really try and um, memorize that, then you absolutely should do that now. Okay. Here it says identify the digit that has the given place value. So here we have this um, decimal number that they've given us and they want us to identify what is in the ones position. Well the ones position again knowing our place value is one place to the left of the decimal so there is a five in that ones position. Now they're asking us for the tenths position the tenths position is one place to the right of the decimal, so we would have a two in the tenths position. Now the tens, well remember that's from our whole number part. Tens is the second place to the left, so that would be a three. Thousandths thousandths is in the decimal portion. So for our, our decimals we start off with tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So in the thousandths position would be a six. Now the hundreds position. That doesn't have a THS so that's the whole number portion. The hundreds, remember we go ones, tens, hundreds to the left. So in the hundreds position would be the one and the hundredths, this meaning it's the decimal portion. So to the right, we start off with the tenths and then the hundredths. So the hundredths position here would be the number nine. So we really want to get used to doing place value and understanding how those things, are, you know, where they are according to place value. All right, let's try something different here. This one says write the decimal number that has the specified place values. So we're going to write a number that describes all of these in the different positions. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a decimal and then I'm just going to lay out some blanks for like put place value or positions. Okay, this is going to help me to be able to figure out where to put what. If I have zero ones, well remember ones is to the left of the decimal, so that's the ones position, I'll put a zero. Then I'm supposed to put a five in the hundredths position, that's in the decimal part. So tenths, hundredths would be the second place, so I'm going to put a five. Then it says to do one ten, well that's the whole number part, so ones, tens would go here, I'm going to put a one there. Four hundreds, that's in the whole number part, so ones, tens, hundreds would go here. And then it says two tenths, that's in the decimal portion. The tenths position is the first one to the right, so that would be the two there. Now I didn't really need that position, I just you know drew out several blanks in case I needed it. So to write that number with these specified place values, I would have to write 410 and 25 hundredths. Now let's try one more of those. Here we have, again, uh, we're going to put the position, the place value, so I'm going to put uh, my decimal, and then I'm going to draw out some blanks. don't know how many I'm going to need, so I'm just going to put three or four to either side. We have four hundredths, so that would be tenths, hundredths in the, um, to the right, four hundredths, that would be to the left, tens, zeros, ten, I'm sorry, zeros, ones, tens, hundredths, zero tens would be ones, tens, zero tenths would be one place to the right, five thousandths would be tenths, hundredths, thousandths, 5,000 would be ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and six ones would be one place to the left. So our number would look like 5,406 and 45 thousandths.